What's up everybody? Mongoose here with uh, a first edition of Low Elo Game Casting. This is a viewer submission from 11.7. Let's take a look at the draft here. We've got a Chimera on the blue team, a Shinbi, a Morgash, a Kalari, and a Gideon. So no tank and no carry. On the red team we have a Serith, Muriel, Twinblast, Richter, Shinbi. Much more balanced composition. We'll see how that works out. Now uh I originally had planned to remove all player identification, but A, that's really fucking hard, B, I'm not that mean, and C, if you're on this video and I call you out, you should probably just take it as a learning tool, man. Because I know I fuck up all the time, as I've showed in past videos. So I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget that like button if you do. So let's, uh, let's get into this game here. First thing I notice here is uh, Red Team has put the Richter in the mid lane. Um, I would think Shinbi would be. Uh, well, no, because then who would take the all? I think Richter would probably. I've seen Richter played in the off lane. I've seen him played in the jungle. Never have I seen him played in the mid lane. Uh, let's see how this works out. There's a new one on me. Blue team didn't draft a carry. They have a Kalari and a Shinbi in their safe lane. Kind of makes you wonder who is supporting who here. Four minutes into the game and we're looking at the red side jungle, which appears to be completely untouched. Uh, where is their jungler? Jungler is Sereth. Over in the uh, over in the left lane, just got a kill, but uh, yeah, the uh, jungle jungler is a very dynamic position. Okay, twin blast is clearing them out now, but the jungler is a very dynamic position. Uh, you have quite a few responsibilities, but chief among those is clearing the jungle. Hence the name jungler. It's very important to provide your team with that CXP boost and also boost your own CXP. Our mid lane Richter has been joined by Muriel, so we have the two lowest damage members of the red team in the middle lane. Muriel lands the slow, Richter lands the hook. Never mind them being low damage. They are going to take this Morgash down. That's, uh, it's kind of impressive. Kind of impressive. I'm, I like that. See Sarath coming in on the tower. It is almost dead. She starts to... Oh, it's a Chimera on her ass. She ran the complete wrong way there. She ran the way that would give her the most damage taken. She's going to get away, though. Nope. Chimera comes in and takes her out. Um, pathing, people. Watch your pathing. Holy shit. Team's taking the tower. Chimera comes in. Tower dives. Sarath is going to get away if she's smart about this. But, nope. She's not so smart about it. She instead... She, <laughs> let's let's take another look at that. We rewind about ten seconds there. Uh, let's go ten more seconds. So she goes into tower range. Chimera starts taking shots. She runs through. She could have ran right back in the tower range. Yet she, yeah, wow, that was uh that was insane. Pathing again, people. Pathing. Lari trying to take the green buff, and we have Shinbi and uh, Twin Blast coming in hard. Oh, she's going to get away over the wall, but the wolves chase. Oh! Twin Blast predicts the path and knows where she's going to jump and catches her with a surprise shot in the face. That was pretty cool. Definitely better than I would have done in that situation. Right here we have Sarath attempting to back. I don't know why it looks so funny. Kalari goes in hard on her. She, Kalari's about to take her out. Rick comes out of nowhere with a big hook. Unfortunately, you can't hook a space turd as Gideon finishes off Sarath. Red team has decided to take Orb Prime. They have warded up the area pretty good, so good on them there. Richter throwing another ward for um, not much of a reason, but, uh, you know, it does, the ward doesn't see through walls. 
Uh oh, Kalari. Kalari coming in. Oh no, that's a uh, Moragesh. Moragesh was Moragesh steals it with the purple buff. Gideon comes in. Oh yeah, there's no way he's going to survive that. Yep. They kill each other though, so I mean, you know, good on good on Twin Blast for that. But yeah, they they just lost Orb Prime. Uh, all those wards, and they they still didn't see her. Majority of the red team going down. This could be the blue team's opportunity to finish this off. We got Kalari coming in hard on Twin Blast. Opens up. Chimera also comes in. Opens up. There's no way Twin Blast is going to survive this shit. He does make a valiant effort, but yeah, there's no getting away there. And Twin Blast goes down. Let's see if blue team can capitalize on this opportunity. The red team has Sereth back up. Kalari just uh just looking for something to happen. And Chimera is going to looks like Sereth is gonna go down here. The tower is so low, or inhibitor. They take the inhibitor and they take the Sereth down. Things are looking grim for the red team. Blue team is doing what they need to do here. They're capitalizing on that team kill, and they're pushing for the win. Now, Richter, Muriel, and Shimbi are up. I don't know how much they're going to be able to do. Let's see if they can uh, they can save it. Clary still doing her thing. Oh, Richter lands the pull. Muriel, oh, wow, they uh, they did everything they could to kill that Kalari. Hopefully they have a pregnancy test in the card shop, because that Kalari just got fucked. And uh, it looks like that's going to be enough. Um, just the one kill up, and Richter goes down to the Morgesh. They could still finish it here. They're just all they're facing is a Shinbi and a Muriel. And, uh, Twin Blast is about to come back in. Is this going to be game? Chimera is still not in it. It doesn't looks looks like red team has actually successfully defended this. Yep, they're going to chase him off, and uh, wow, I can't believe they actually uh, saved the, saved their core there. Blue team starting to go for orb prime. This should secure the game for them if they pick it up. They have not warded at all, which is uh, they're kind of lucky. The red team. Also did not ward Prime, so uh, Red Team has no idea. Uh, looks like Twin Blast sniffed him out. Um, they're not really paying attention to him. The he comes in. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet revenge! Twin Blast steals Orb Prime from the Blue Team, just like they stole it from him earlier. But he does give his life for that. Let's uh, let's see if uh, Blue Team can still capitalize on a numbers advantage, even though they they didn't get the Orb Prime. My favorite, the lazy back. Sarath backing right in front of the enemy team. Kalari opens up order. There's no getting away. If you've learned anything from my videos, anything at all, don't lazy back. It gets you killed. This could be the beginning of the end. They're open. Blue team opening up on Richter. Looks like he's going probably going to go. Oh, big ultimate. Big ultimate from Gideon takes pretty much everybody that's alive on the red team uh, doesn't kill a lot of them but puts them really low this should be the end of the game I should think yeah they're a uh, red team all going down minus the Shinbi this should be it they're uh, they got all these minions on the core and the blue team wins of the game now uh why do I think the blue team won over the red team? Well, first of all, I think the red team... Excuse me for a moment. Sorry, I couldn't find my cough button. Um, I think the, uh, the red team had a better team composition, and I think overall they outplayed the blue team. However, it's kind of the butterfly effect here. The, um, the red team, Sereth... Not doing her jungle, not only put her behind on card points, but you've got a Muriel and a Richter who are notorious for sucking dick for CXP. 
and they rely on that amber link. If Sarath isn't filling the amber link, then they're not getting their CXP. It puts them way behind. So I think that's probably the reason why the blue team was able to come out successful over the red team. But I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me. And if you wish to subscribe, click on that screaming mongoose head at the bottom of your screen. And if you want to see your game cast on the mongoose casting, just uh, via Reddit or uh, YouTube, or you can email me at mongoosegg at gmail.com with a uh, replay ID and let me know if there's anything in particular that you want highlighted and I'll see what I can do for you but for now this is Mongoose signing off you guys have a good one